Good morning. Hi, folks. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Connie from Faf Designs. I'm in the UK and I am a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. Just fiddling with my camera. Um, I'm here today in the UK and I'm going to be showing you. Um, I don't know if anybody remembered this piece from last week. Make sure also let me know if you can hear me okay because I've got some these in. They're, they're new. Me and the technology, I'm just dabbling in the technology. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. So this was a piece that I started um, a few weeks ago now, actually. Um, morning, Jackie. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Got some fancy ear wireless earphone things in. Um, so this is, um, let me just pull you back a little bit. G'day, mate. Hi, Chris Donna, mate. You all right? Um, Little crazy boho chest. So this is for my good friend um, who has commissioned me to do her something crazy. And um, because she is crazy, so crazy person, crazy furniture, you know. So um, it's, if you want to, st I'm not gonna go through all the steps cause it's, it's I think we're on something like, um, hi Aaron, it's very nice of you to say. Um, I'm not going to go through all the steps because it, it has taken quite a long time to get to this point. Or I've dragged it out, I should say. I've probably dragged it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can find them on my YouTube channel. So I have created a playlist that is specifically for this piece. I think we're on something like step five or something. Um, so, yeah. Check it out if you want to know how I got to this place. It's all of all of my videos, all my live videos are uploaded onto YouTube. Um, <clears throat> just going to have a quick sip of tea, cup of tea. I had um, I had a really old chocolate muffin thing that I found in the kitchen um, and it was very dry. So the crumbs have tickled my throat. <clears throat> so if I keep coughing, that's why I just got a cup of tea to hand. Um, morning, everybody. Hi. I know it's early for some people in America. I think it's evening from uh, in the Australia, down under. So, um, yeah, and it's it's 11 a.m. here. So if you want to know, um, would you like a spot of tea? Chris Dorna, you can't. I'm, I'll teach you the way. I'll show you the way. If you want to know how I got to here, it's on my YouTube channel. Um, but this is the transfer that I've used so far on this. The other side is almost done, actually. So this piece is... Um... <laughs> Stop eating random muffins. I know it was dangerous, wasn't it? Uh, it's very dry, very dry. Um, so, yeah, the, the other side of this piece... Stop waffling. I'm trying to get to the furniture and people are distracting me. Um, the other side of this is very nearly finished. So there's a couple more steps that I want to do to just add a little bit more depth in terms of colour. And I feel like this is beautiful, but I feel like it needed more. So go hard or go home on this piece was my instruction. So I'm following that. Um, this is the transfer that I've used, which is called Boho Soul. And um, you can find this on the Dixie Bell website um, in the link above my head. And I have used the two black and white elements. I say black and white, they're black with a clear background. Um, so I've used both of those. So this one, this this piece here, they're very sort of similar in, in um, format. So they've got like a drapey thing with feathers and stuff. Um, I've used that on the other side. That is the one that you can see on this side. And um, I've had a couple of questions about this transfer. Obviously, it is black. So whatever you've got underneath, will you'll see through. Lots of people have asked me, can you colour them in with paint? Yes, you can. You can get an artist brush and you can colour you can colour this in. If you wanted to add colour to this transfer, you absolutely can. Um, I'm not going to because I've got a lot of colour going on already. I'm adding more colour and I'm adding more things. As the title suggests, I'm adding silk screen stencils. So, the gorgeous thing about Bells and Whistles, which is the name for Dixie Bell's sort of accessories range, if you like. So, within that, you have transfers, you have the Mylar stencils, which are the, the standard stencils. Um, you have the silk screen stencils. Um, 
Anything else? Can't think. Oh, the decoupage papers. How could I forget the papers? I love the papers. So um, under bells and whistles, you've got all these accessories and they they sort of, you can mix and match them because um, they go together really, really nicely. So I wish I could turn this round and show you um, what I've done so far. I'll, what I'll do is I'll just take a drawer out because they, they come out all the way. So this is what I've been working on, on the other side. So you can see uh, part, of the stencil, uh, part of the transfer is here, but I've also added some stencil, um, silk screen stencil detail here. And I've added color washes, some brown wax. I did have a spot of tea and a dry muffin. Um, some, some black, uh, sorry, brown wax over here. So that it's added a lot more depth. So this is obviously one, pretty much one colour. So this is um, a sea spray with a colour over the top and sanded back. This has got a lot more going on. So we still got some, we still retained some of the bright colours. It's just that it's got, it's got a bit more depth. It doesn't look like it's been done by a primary school child. Um, the Queen of Wax. I'll take that. I will take that title. So here's a pink drawer, which is, the pink one's my favorite. Um, you like the hardware. It was just the standard hardware and I thought it really suited the piece. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so this, the pink drawer is my fave. I mean, oh, look at it. Look at that. Where's the thing? Where's, oh, there you go. There's a close up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then we've got a cheeky little one here and a little a little thingy thing there so yeah this is cool this has got a lot of colors on it this is i think this has got uh i think this has got three pinks on it then it's um sorry it had the stencil detail on first then it had some pinks then it had some waxing so yeah it's got it all going on but can you see the difference in the tone calm it down i'm sorry i just get excited about stencils and stuff that's the flat, you know, pretty flat depth. So, yes, yeah, I will be doing those steps. I'll be doing those steps on this side and I'll do it on a live. The other side, I was kind of just playing and dabbling a little bit. I wasn't really sure what I needed to do, but I know I needed to do something else. So let me just quickly explain about how well the all the pieces from the Bells and Whistles line fit together. Let me just grab the... Excuse my oh, backside steady. The stool's on wheels, easy Clark. Right, boho soul transfer. You know, it's feathery and pretty and colorful. Then this is gonna be on the draw sides, which I feel, I was faffing. This I feel sort of goes with the color scheme that we've got going on on the draw sides. Uh, on the front, sorry, that matches the colours on the front. Then we're going to be using the Bells and Whistles, silk screen stencils, and I've used a combination of two because I feel like these go together really well. So I've got Mosaic and I've got Mandala. So they're the three... Where can you see? Let me lower it down. They're the three designs of Mandala and they're the three sheets of Mosaic. So can you see how they, they're quite similar in style? Um, so I've mixed and matched them on the other side. I've gone a bit crazy. We've got it all going on. We've got transfers. We've got decoupage paper. And we've got silk screen stencils. So I'm going to be doing some silk screen stenciling today. So I'm going to bring you a slightly different angle. Close up. Had too much caffeine. Calm down. I just get excited with colour and, and, and stencils and things. So I've already got the sheets out of the silk screen stencils here because I've used quite a bit of them already. And I don't want to do the same as I've done on the other side because that'd be pretty boring. Some of the colors are different on the other side as well. So let's do something a bit different. Um, feel like maybe we should have something coming up from the bottom here and then down this side maybe. So, I feel like that look might look quite nice in the corner. I'm making this up uh, as I go along. 
Although I do have a rough idea of what I did on the other side. Um, just going with the flow. Where's Christina gone? She's gone quiet. Oh, and if you want to see me carry on this, you need to pop over to Chris Dorner's Facebook page afterwards because we're doing another joint live straight after this. Is that right, Chris Dorner? It is on your page straight after this, isn't it? Am I correct? Okay, so, um, don't calm down. It's not creative energy, it's a bit of creative energy, but also it's caffeine, caffeine energy. Um, Silk screen stencils. Sticky back. I've got a bucket of water down here because what you don't want to do is let any paint dry in the in the negative space. So similar really to uh, a standard stencil, but also different. <laughs> similar but different. It's the same but different. So in the negative space, there's a fine mesh. Can you see? It's not a clear space. Um, quiet is nowhere in my vocabulary. Rude. Um, yeah, it's, a neg it's the mesh. So that's that's the silk screen stencil. That's how it differs to a standard stencil. It's also sticky on the back. So if you struggle with a normal stencil, um, holding it still or um, taping it down and you get it moving around and slipping and you don't get a crisp line, silk screen stencils are the one for you. Um, you can reuse these. I mean, I've, I've used and abused mine because I absolutely love them. Um, I've used them loads and they're still sticky. So all you do is run it under a hot tap or a warm tap. Um, Oh, you were talking about Chris Dorner. All right, you are, you're, you're pardoned. Um, run it under a warm tap and get all the paint out. Don't let the paint dry because then you've basically, you've ruined your, your silk screen stencil. So um, let's pop this on here. So I am going straight over the corner here. Where the two, where the drawer meets the frame of the piece, I'm going to um, like I've done on the on the transfer here, how it sort of goes across. I'm I'm going to do the same. I don't want it cont I don't want the pattern contained to the drawer fronts. Um, just all you do is you just run your finger over it, stick it down. I'm using caviar today so that it gives a similar effect to the transfer that I've used there with the, with the feathers on. Let me just back up. I am so tight on space in here today because I bought a really, really sad old sofa from um, Facebook Marketplace, but it's, it's like a wicker one. Well, I think it's Willow. I think it's actually Willow. And um, I cleaned it with a pressure washer yesterday and I'm going to paint it because why not? So, and that's in here, and, I, and I'm, I am struggling for room a little bit because it's forecast to rain today here, so I had to bring it inside. I don't want to sit in outside in the rain. Bear with, I'm just finding a suitable brush. Um, so I've got caviar, and I only want, who, what, do it, do it. I'm catching snippets of conversation again. I'm just doing this corner piece here. I'm not gonna do these pieces. I'm just doing that corner piece. So what you need to do is get something to put some uh, paint on the piece. Not a lot. Whack it on. Then you get one of these in the packs with the silk screen stencils. It's basically a plastic squeegee tool. Um, and you can use it if you've got little bits of detail, you can use this smaller, smaller end as well. So all you do is, I'm hoping, I'm not obstructing you too much and you, you can see, you just drag the paint through here. Um, I really hope that this is dry enough because I washed it. And that's another tip as well. If you've, if you've washed your 
I might be about to eat my own words here, but if you've wa if you've washed your silk screen stencil before you use it again, make sure it's really dry because if you introduce water to these, obviously it's going to affect how thick the paint is. You need the paint quite thick, so use the use the paint without any water. Um, if it's too, obviously, if you start adding water and it's thin, it's going to seep underneath. And I actually think that I've done that here. So you might be, you might be in for a treat here. Um, so I've just told you what to do. And then I've just done the complete opposite. But it's cool because it can be painted over. It can be fixed. It's not a problem. It's like, is my big head in the way? So I'm just using the, the corner of the, the end, the small end, just to get the paint all in to those patterns. <clears throat> and here's where you can see if, uh, if I've messed up. A little bit there. A tiny little bit. I've probably just not dried it off enough. Um, there we go. I can't quite get the tripod in. It's like hovering. Can you see? I've just... There. But because the style is really rustic, these are getting distressed a little bit anyway. So I'm just... Before this dries, I'm going to just chuck this in my bucket of water. So that's that. Right, next one. The trick is to not use too much paint with these. Um, Brandy did what on a live last week? I'm not seeing the comments. So that's that one. Right, let's see what else we've got going on here. I am feeling one of those. Although maybe, oh, that one's pretty as well. Uh, right, let's go over here. Let's move you, move you over here. <clears throat> do that trim along the bottom along the bottom of which drawer which colour tell me tell me which trim that trim Chris Donna Along the bottom of the whole piece. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, I could do that. Okay. Um, also, silk is good for these. Silk is good. I actually, I actually used Anchor, which is from the silk line, on the other side of, um, of this. So that when I did the colour washing over the top, it didn't reactivate the paint. In fact, I probably should have done silk on this because I'm going to do colour washing. I just grabbed caviar because it was right in front of me. Um, you could and you will. What, right now? Oh, I didn't plan that in. I was going to do a big old, I was going to do a big old mandala. But I've got two here. Um, you, the mousse works really good with it. The, the mousse is the perfect consistency to, um, to use with the silk screen stencils, but... My friend doesn't do metallics, so she was like, no. What do you think? Shall I plop a big old mandala there? Maybe in a bit. In fact, shall I go and get silk? Shall I go and get anchor and do it with silk? So it's the same as the other side. <laughs> I'll do this, I'll do the bottom on, on our joint line. I didn't plan that in. <clears throat> I'm coming back. Right, so 
you all know what silk is, right? I'm hoping you do. So silk is, um, it's, oh, it's an all-in-one mineral paint, which has a built-in top coat, amongst other things. It's a fabulous, fabulous paint. I love it. Um, so, right, what am I doing here? Let's put this on. So because silk has a built-in top coat, it's not gonna reactivate when I do the color washes over the top of this, which is why I did use it on the other side. I just forgot, forgot my own genius and started to use caviar when I should have used silk. So I am going to put that, I don't want it too low because I've put another one on the other side, I've put one quite low. So let's make it challenging. Let's make it go over the orange the peacock and the holy guacamole. Let's make a real challenge here. And then you can laugh at me when it cocks up and I have to redo it. I'm just lining the drawers up because they, um, because it's quite a rusticky, rusticky piece. I'm just making sure the drawers are flush so that I haven't got a huge lip in between where one one starts and another one finishes. Okay, so I need a brush for this. If I miss the comments, I'll come back. I have used it with the metallics. Um, I did a a cocktail cabinet actually a while ago and it was all blended greens the inside was the custom pink that I made um I don't like going on about it to be honest because uh, it gives her a big head but it was called um raspberry renovare <sighs> it's all about Chris Dorna um so I made it was pink on the inside and then the pull out drawer had um one of the patterns on there is a there is a silk screen um pack called patterns um it had one of those on and i used it with gold digger and it was fine it was absolutely fine um the trick is don't put too much paint on and don't let the paint pool and sit in areas so you're better off putting a little bit of paint on moving it around and then adding some more paint if that makes sense now i need to find my what's it where did i put that I need help today. I seriously need help. Where did I put the thing? So yeah, don't let your paint pool and sit there for too long, like this. Oh dear. I'm <laughs> so terrible. Right, hang fire. I'm like a walking car crash today, oh no. I've got the thing caught in the in the wheel of my what's it. I'm still here. I don't know where I put that. I am still here. Right. That's fabulous. So that pack didn't I think I've already pinched the tool out of that one. Oh, here we go. Here's one. I'm here. Just sorry about that. Just sitting here watching paint dry. Sorry. Um, okay, so this one has got a lot of detail, so I'm going to use the uh, the little edge to press the paint in. Um, so use your paint up and then when you've got as much out of that as you can, add a bit more. If you try and do it all too quickly and add too much paint too soon, it won't have, um, it won't give you like a crisp line. It'll just, it'll start pooling underneath. So just work in small areas. 
Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. You're not too far away. So silk is brilliant because if you wanted to add um, a transfer, um, not transfer, what am I talking about? Oh, just dab the black there. I'm an absolute mess today. If you wanted to add some um, stencil detail over the top of your piece, whether that be a chalk mineral paint piece or a silk piece, um, you can add uh, silk over the top and you don't have to see, you don't have to see all this. I am going to be using waxes for decorative effect anyway, but you don't have to seal silk. So when you're done stenciling, you just walk away, you're done. So yeah, the best thing is just not to add too much paint all at once because you'll end up with the paint pooling um, and you'll end up uh, not getting those clean lines. <sighs> you ready for the reveal? Oh, it's so satisfying peeling that off. I'm just going to put that in the water straight away so because silk dries tough and it dries quick um oh yeah the live is right after here i don't know what time it is right now um i won't be able to do too much more because i've got to let this dry before i can layer some more pieces up um so yeah just don't let you don't let especially silk silks um when it's dry that's it it's on it's permanent um <clears throat> so yeah it just needs to uh dry before i can layer it on and don't let it dry in the um there we go look i would unclip you but i don't know if i'll get you back in again there we go isn't it pretty and there's there is and i mean i love a good stencil a uh, standard stencil but there's no way you'd get that detail on a normal stencil it's just, it's so intricate. Um, let me show you. It's so intricate and pretty. It almost gives like a bit of a raised effect because obviously you've forced it through the, the what's it? So yeah, silk screen stencils, they're just fabulous. There we go giving you a little bit of a close-up there can you see the cabinet i don't know if you saw it on my page i've gone with mustard and i'm going to be doing a transfer on the inside of that one i'm all squidged in right do you want to see another one have, you, have i bored you enough with silk screen stencils do you can you tell i love them can you tell i love silk screen stencils chris dorna wants me to do a border across the bottom i suppose we better do as we're told because um well, she'll probably beat me up. <clears throat> she, she'll she ring me or message me and say that she doesn't love me anymore. And I can't handle that kind of rejection. So I better do as I'm told. Right, where's the thing image you've got? Oh, um, I'm just going to find something that I can put across the bottom. Won't be a moment. What have I got going up here? Right, I've got... Was it that one? Is that the one you were saying? The problem is, I can't... I don't know if I can get that low with my... Hello from Sydney. Hi, Rachel. Is it Rachel? Rochelle? I don't know how to pronounce it. So can you just... Just see? I don't know if it'll tilt anymore. I'm at risk here of, like, flinging my phone across let me just check this isn't one of the ones that i've knackered over using any of them really right so now you're not specific now you want now you're not bothered 
Okay, so um, I feel like it needs to be near the top of that piece. go I'm only using this because it was the first thing to hand you will allow me creative freedom oh thanks mom <clears throat> can you see I don't know if it's a bit low so this is one of the um it's like a like a bit of a border which I'm a big fan of um, I love these. You can use them on the on the sides of drawers, you know, just to add a little bit more detail. Because it is attention to detail that we love. Um, so that when you pull the drawer out, you've got a bit of a peekaboo drawer going on here. Um, so they these these little trim pieces, these little borders, they work really well for those. There we go. So that's going that's gonna go all the way across the bottom. Um I think I'm gonna wash it first because otherwise I want a really crisp line, so I don't wanna don't want to um Yes, you reckon that works, do you? Okay, so that's where we're going with it so far. I feel like I need some more down here, but I can't overlap here because that's still that's still wet. Um, let's see what else we've got. I'll do one more and then I'll leave you all alone. I'm just putting this in there. I'll show you what I've got. So these are from, um, if you missed it earlier, all of these designs that I'm using are, oh, I found the, I found the original squeegee tool. There it is. Terrible. Um, one day I'll have a really nice big workshop and everything will be organised. I won't have stuff flying around everywhere. It's never going to happen. Um. So these are a combination of two different designs. One is called Mosaic and one is called Mandala, all these sheets. Uh, you get three, design, three, three sheets in each pack. So they're really, really good value for money and they're reusable as well. So... I had one and it had little, like, mini mandalas on, circles, but I can't find it. Oh, it's there. Oh, I have really used that, haven't I? Uh, hope it's gonna stick <clears throat> that's how much i love these use them a little bit too much i think i need to order some more from dixie bell right we're gonna go with this thing here i don't know what it is but i like it what are these things called is there a name for them it's like a it's like a swirly whirly thing. So just stick it on. And even when these do start to lose their stick a little bit. Oh, and the other thing, the other thing, I didn't tell you this. Um, <laughs> if you were nice to me, I'd send you some. Send me some. Um, the other thing you can do with these are because they're really, really flexible and they're sticky, you can make them go around corners. So you can, Paisley, cheers, Jackie. Thanks, my assistant, he checks in the post. Um, you can make them go around corners. So can you see here how this circle, if I wanted that circle to start here and wrap around, you can, yeah, it's a swirly whirly. I would, that's exactly what I would call it. Um, you can make the pattern wrap around the corner of the piece how cool is that and i have i have actually done that around the other side so that you you just wouldn't get that with the with the stencil you'd have to take it off and lift it and move it around the side with this you can just 
do it in one in one move. Yeah, I'm going with swirly whirly. <laughs> it is Jackie, I promise. Uh, I'm going to do that big old swirly whirly there, and then I'm going to chip off and um, go and pester Chris Dorna on her page. She tells me to go away, but I won't. I won't ever go away. Stalker for life now. I'm, I, you, I can't stress how little paint you have to use with these as well. You just got to be patient. And don't drop your tool. I think I am the tool today. Christ. There we go. Okay. Backup tool. Yeah, you've got to be patient. And that's that's coming from me. I am not a patient person at all. But these are definitely, definitely worth it. You can tell how much I'm concentrating because it's... Don't tip my paint over me. Do you know what? I wouldn't put it past me today. It's been one of those days. Um, yeah, you can tell how much I'm concentrating because it's quiet. And you all know that I like to chat. Rubbish. <laughs> I am making it harder for myself because I'm going over where the drawers meet the frame. So maybe if you're new, don't do that. Maybe just try it on somewhere flat first before you go up to the next level. Because <laughs> it does make it a little bit trickier. Last little bit. Get in there. There we go. Shove that up there. Put that over there where it's got paint on it. Oh yeah. It's gone a bit pooly here, but the drawers have got a slight bevel where they where they go in a slightly bit here. So it's okay. We'll sand it. But um, like I say, I have... <laughs> what faces? My, oh, her faces. Are you talking about Christiana again? <clears throat> oh, Christiana's ridiculous faces. Um, not even when she's concentrating, just a normal face is ridiculous. I love you really. Um, there we go. So it's starting to come together a little bit, isn't it? I think. So I feel like a few more pieces added. And then we've got to... Then we've got a decoupage to draw sides. So I am waiting on some decoupage paper for that. So it's not awful. You're beautiful. Um, so yeah, starting to come together. So hopefully you can see how you can use... Not only the transfers, you don't have to just use the transfers on their own. You can use them with the other things from the Bells and Whistles line. So, silk screen stencils and the decoupage paper. They go together like Bonnie and Clyde. Is that rubbish? Or you, you lot in America will say peanut butter and jelly. Over here it goes together like a cup of tea and a dry muffin. Yes. So, yeah, she's proper digging now for compliments, isn't she? Shh, cut that out. Um, why did you choke on your coffee? I'm just being silly. Chris Dorna. <laughs> A werewolf mask. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, they go together. The, the silk screen stencils, 
the transfers, the decoupage paper, they go together like a cup of tea and a dry muffin. Um, so on that note, I shall, <laughs> I'll pop off um, and I will see you same time next week. Um, I promise I'll be, <laughs> I can't, I've just seen dry muffin pop up on the thing. It's got to stop, it's got to stop. Um, oh, I don't know what remark it was, oh, so silly. Um, chocolate and peanut butter, sort it out. No. What are you on about? Um, I'll see you next week. I'll do something different next week. I'll hopefully be finished this by then. Um, but in, a, what, 20 minutes or so? I don't know what time it is. Around about 12-ish, we'll be going live uh, on Chris Dorner's page for, for some bants um, and some silliness. But we are on a bit of a time limit today, so uh, it won't be... <laughs> It won't be a long one like it was last week where we did no painting and lots of talking. So um, I will, uh, these, all of the pieces, all of the things, the paint, the transfers and the silkscrew stencils, you sort it out. You can purchase from the link that should be linked above my head um, or Chris Dorna will pop it in the comments or she probably already has done because she's, oh, she's done it, look, she's done it. Um, so yeah, you can buy them from that, um, that link that will take you to the Dixiebo website and, um, every time you click on that link and purchase through my link, I earn a small commission from it, which helps me get paid for, um, doing these videos and stuff. So that's lovely. And thank you for everybody that does that. Um, and I'll see you next week. Or if you're feeling brave, I'll see you on Chris Dorner's page in about 20 minutes. Bye.